All right. Hi, guys. This is uh, Mrs. Goswish, your AP Chemistry teacher, and this is Percent Composition of Compounds. This is Section 6 of Chapter 3. The Chapter 3 is labeled Stoichiometry. This section is about percent composition of compounds, usually expressed in mass percent or weight percent of every element in the compound. I've got a little mathematical computation. This is the one actually your book gives you, but technically speaking, it's real simple. It's going to be part, the mass of the element over whole, which is the mass of the compound the element is in, times 100 will give you the mass percent of that particular element in the compound. There are two typical ways of making this calculation. Way number one is when they give you lab data, not the formula. Way number two is when they give you formula and not the data. Of the two, not, they're both very easy, so this is going to be a snap. Not to mention that you had it first year chemistry anyway, so this is going to be real easy. So here's our first example. This is from lab data. A sample of an unknown compound with a mass of 0.2370 grams is extracted from the roots of a plant. Decomposition of this compound produces carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen in those quantities, and they want to know the percent composition of all the elements in this particular root extract. So a couple of things I'm going to write down first so I know what I'm looking at. The total mass of the compound, and I'm going to abbreviate compound, is 0 0.2370. They tell me that the compound consists of carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. And the formula is not necessarily going to be in this order. Uh, but they're not asking for a formula, so I don't have to worry about that. They tell me decomposition of this 0 0.2370 grams of compound produces 0 0.09480 grams of the carbon, 0 0.1264 grams of the oxygen, 0 0.0158 grams of the hydrogen. So the compound has three elements in it. And those three elements are the carbon, oxygen, and the hydrogen. Take a look at the numbers. Make an educated guess as to which one of these three elements will be the larger quantity, the larger percentage of the compound. My guess is it's going to be the oxygen because it is the largest mass of the three. So it's going to be the largest percentage. After that is going to be the carbon, and after that is going to be the hydrogen. Now again, looking at the numbers and just thinking intuitively, logically, this guy here is going to be my whole, and these three guys are technically going to be the part. Remember, the computation is part over whole. Anytime you calculate the percentage of anything, it's part over whole times 100. So these are my parts. I am just going to divide all three by the 0 0.2370 and I'm just going to multiply them all by 100 and that's 100% because this is how you do it anytime. Anytime you read the percentage of a population, anything, it's always part over whole times 100. Uh, all right, so let's see. Um, I am looking at this one, two, three, four sig figs, one, two, three, four sig figs. So my answer is going to be four sig figs. One, two, three, four sig figs, one, two, three, four sig figs. So my answer is also going to be four sig figs. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, so three sig figs. And if I add these up, I should get approximately 100. Don't worry if you get a 99. Don't worry if you get 100.1. Uh, close enough, these are all computated. So from lab data, nice and simple. Now we're going to do the second way. This is going to be given formulas being done from formulas. We are going to calculate the percent mass of each element in calcium nitrate. 
and aluminum sulfate, and I think I'll throw in sucrose also, if nobody minds terribly. So first thing you gotta know is your ions, calcium nitrate, and then we have aluminum sulfate, written appropriately. So what I have is my total mass here. Got to get that. One calcium, two nitrogens, six oxygens, two digits right of the decimal, because that was an executive decision. All masses that we use or calculate. The total here, two aluminums, three sulfurs, and 12 oxygens. It's going to be kind of heavy. 342.17 grams. Then what we have to do here is it consists of calcium, nitrogen, and oxygen. Calcium from the periodic table, and there's only one of them. Nitrogen, there's two of them according to the formula. And I'm going to do oxygen a little lower. And oxygen, there are six of them. And only one is 16 grams. Part over whole times 100 again and then times 100. Uh, one, two, three, four sig figs, four sig figs, four sig figs. All my answers are going to be four sig figs. This is going to be 24.42 percent, 17.07 percent, and 58.50 percent. There you go. These are the percent by masses of the oxygen, the nitrogen, and the calcium in the calcium nitrate. And since I'm running out of room, I'm going to let you figure it out. I'm just going to give you the answers for the aluminum and the sulfur and the oxygen in aluminum sulfate. You should get 15.77 gram, eh, not grams, sorry, per cent, 28.12%. And 56.11%. Then the last one I want you to do on your own also is sucrose. Sucrose is table sugar. And the formula is C12, H22, and O11. And your answers in order of should be 4210, 6.49% for the hydrogen and 51.42 percent. And I can't squeeze that in. There it is. And that is percent by mass review. Nice and simple.